Do you want to know the root cause of the most common exhaust problems in your car? Let me explain it in two words. Exhaust leaks. Okay, so is your exhaust irritatingly loud for no reason? Or do you sometimes hear growling whenever you're driving? Or what about poor gas mileage? Okay, so let me cut to the cheese. The most common cause for those problems are usually exhaust leaks. Okay, so what are exhaust leaks? And why are they causing so much problems for your car? So hi guys, welcome back to K-Raising Muffler. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the most common exhaust problems and what you can do to fix them. But before that, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe so the algorithm would know that people are interested in the exhaust system and its purpose. So before we talk about exhaust leaks, do you guys remember back when we talk about the purpose of your exhaust? Number one is to carry away emission. Number two is to filter toxic gases. And lastly, number three, to control the sound and volume of your car. Uh, that was a quick recap of the purpose of your exhaust. Actually, the most common exhaust problems that you will encounter will probably revolve around these three purposes not being met. And usually, when one of those purposes are not being met, there is only one thing that you can blame it on. And those are, you guessed it, exhaust leaks. Okay, so what are exhaust leaks? Exhaust leaks can take up many different types and forms. It can take form as deteriorating pipes, broken welds, or even physical impacts. Like for example, sometimes your lowered Honda will accidentally hit that really high humps on the grocery store. And then you will hear your very expensive exhaust grind through that really high hump. And then the next thing you realize is from now on, you have exhaust leaks. Okay, so what does happen if your car has some exhaust leaks in them? And you know, how much does it really affect your car's performance? So the first thing you will notice when you have exhaust leaks is that your exhaust is going to be louder than normal. When you have an exhaust leak, what you will hear is a super loud exhaust even when you are not revving. As you guys know, here at K-Raising Muffler, we value good sounding cars. We love to make the type of sounds that causes people to do a double take whenever your car passes by. However, if your car sounds like it's screaming for help, then it's probably a good indicator that your car is struggling and its exhaust has some holes in them and you should probably get it fixed. The type of exhaust leaks you usually see in those situations, like super loud exhaust and rattling, are corroding pipe. What you usually see in those situations is whenever you drive, you have a super loud exhaust and you kind of hear some rattling in your exhaust as well. Because when your pipes are deteriorating, what happens is some of the parts of the pipes will come into your exhaust. So the next thing you'll notice when you have exhaust leaks is the amount of money you're spending on gas or poor gas mileage. I know that in our current situation, all of us are suffering from gas prices. But if you have exhaust leaks, I guarantee you that you will be paying extra. Okay, let me give you guys an example. Do you guys know Toyota? You know, the car manufacturer, Toyota? Well, Toyota claims that the Toyota Vias can go for 8.3 kilometer for every liter of gas. So if you're going to do a simple math, for Toyota Vias, a full tank of gas is 42 liters. So your full tank can go for about 348.6 kilometer. So if you're noticing that you have been going to the gas station more often than you should, then there's a good chance that you have some exhaust leaks. Um, okay, so how is that even possible? How does having exhaust leaks affect my gas consumption? This happens if the exhaust leaks is very close to the oxygen sensors in your exhaust. Okay, one is located in your exhaust manifold and one is located near your catalytic converter or sometimes even in your catalytic converter. So let me explain. Your car's fuel consumption is reliant on this thing called the ECU or the engine control unit. What does the ECU do exactly? The ECU determines how much fuel your engine needs whenever you're driving and how what determines all of that is based on the readings of the oxygen sensor provides. So what happens if you have an exhaust leak? What happens is the oxygen sensors will not get an accurate reading of the high and low pulse pressure of your exhaust. And it will send a lot of misinformation to the ECU and that would result into the ECU injecting more fuel than necessary to your engine. So as of now, we can all say that our wallets are in the mercies of our exhaust. The next thing you will notice is the fumes. So why does fumes occur? You guys know fumes, right? You know, those visible white and black smokes that comes out of your car? <coughs> well, that usually happens when your engine is consuming more fuel than necessary. And when that happens, the air and fuel ratio isn't balanced. 
So again, what does that has to do with exhaust leaks? Okay, remember the ECU? You know, the thing that controls how much fuel is being injected to your engine? So like what we said before, when you have an exhaust leak, your oxygen sensors will send misinformation to the ECU, and that will result into the engine getting more fuel than it needs to. So whenever that happens, when your engine is consuming more fuel than it needs to, then fumes occur because the air and fuel ratio is not being balanced. <coughs> Oh, fun fact, sometimes people call this imbalance as the engine running rich. And the opposite of that, like whenever your engine has too much air and not enough fuel, this is called as the engine running lean. So next time when your mechanic tells you that, hey, your engine is running rich, so you may be losing money on your gas, but now, at least, you know what they mean. Okay, I know that it might come as a surprise to you guys that something as small as an exhaust leak can affect as much as your fuel consumption. But you guys know the saying, right? It's the little thing that matters. Okay, so right now, maybe you're wondering, what can we do to fix all of these problems? Which is good because fixing exhaust leaks is really simple to do. If it's just loose bolts on your gasket or your flange, then what you can do is tighten up your bolts and then you're already good to go. If you have some minor damage like holes in your pipes, then a simple weld or spot may fix the leak. The process of fixing these types of minor leaks can be easily fixed in about 15 to 30 minutes. However, if it's multiple leaks, then a quick cut and weld and a replacement of a part of the pipes is good enough to remove all of the leaks on your pipes. This process can take about 30 to 40 minutes to do. And lastly, if you're dealing with rust and corrosion and your pipes is slowly turning into powder, then what you would want to do is to replace your pipes or upgrade your pipes with something that doesn't deteriorate over time, like a cat back setup or a full exhaust. This process can take about 3 to 4 hours to do. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, I know that having an exhaust leak can really diminish the performance of your car. But it's a good thing that these types of problems is very easily fixed. So I hope that this video helps in looking for a solution to all of your exhaust leaks. So as of now, that's it for today. And I will see you guys in our next video.